For full episodes of the Diverse Mentality Podcast, check the links in the description below. The full video version is available on the main channel, and the audio version is available on your favorite streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. 50 Cent, man, he did a recent interview with um, some woman at a radio show, and a lot of speculation is being asked on if Pop, uh, 50 Cent is going to work on Pop Smoke's upcoming album. And obviously, the first go around, it was very successful. 50 decided to partake in it because, you know, Pop Smoke's vision was for it to be released in the summer. And his team was like, no, we're too sad of Pop Smoke's passing. We can't even listen to the music. We don't want to move forward right now. And 50 was like, nah, man, his vision was to release in the summer. Execute his vision. That's what he had wished for. So why not? The album was already about 70 to 80% done. So there were only a few little tweaks here and there that needed to happen for the album to be completed. And 50 came in and took on all those things uh, for free. He said he never got any, he never wanted anything through it. Uh, he just wanted to make the wish come true of his mother going to an award show, which happened a few weeks ago at the Billboard Music Awards, where Pop Smoke won five awards. And she, you know, spoke and spoke uh, in behalf of him. And it was beautiful. Um, the lady asked, uh, you know, my interaction with Pop Smoke was that he was looking at me like I could tell him the right way to go and everything would work based on what I was saying. It was unfortunate that it actually happened. It's like the other side of it. When I'm coming up early on, I'm so connected to the environment that everything in the environment I'm subjected to is the same. Uh, 50, 50 went on to explain the work he put into the album to make it as successful as it was, according to him, had Steven Victor and his team put it out. The record would not have been made as much noise. He said, so even with my success in music, I'm still subjected to everything the neighborhood is subjected to, 50 said. Because I'm who... Because of who I'm standing next to and Pop's scenario, personally, he told me he wanted to take his mom to an award show. Outside of producing the record and having it perform well, I did all the promotion for that record to have it work. They would have to put it out and you'd have to find it out of basic interest. Which is kind of, um, I disagree with. I don't think like nobody would be interested in the project. I do agree that 50 being an executive producer and him not executive producing in a long time kind of made people more interested. And 50s, 50 was the one that, that the day the album came out, the Woo video came out with Roddy Rich. He's the one that was reaching out to artists and saying, get on this album. I remember him posting on Instagram to Chris Brown, Drake, Roddy Rich, you know, get on the album. We need you on the album. And ultimately, you know, Chris Brown didn't make it on there. Uh, Drake didn't make it on there, but Roddy Rich did. A few others that he reached out to. Um, a Boogie, I believe, he reached out to too. And... Yeah, that the album came out to be very successful, man. It's still in the top 10, still selling. Double Platinum, I believe, is about to reach Double Platinum soon. Um, very successful album, man. This next one is going to be interesting because this is like starting straight from scratch. The first album was already 70 to 80% done, so it's kind of Pop Smoke's vision. We get it. We know it's kind of what Pop Smoke wanted. But this one is like totally out of the control, you know, Pop Smoke, period. Of course, he recorded records, but it's like, now you got to like sequence it. You got to figure out, you know, how, do they have enough verses? They got enough hooks. Where do they got? What's going on here? Because if you look at the Woo track, 50 said it was just the beat and the hook, the Woo. That's it. 50 added his verse, got Roddy Rich on it. And then he got a different verse that possible recorded for something differently and put it on there and even slowed down the beat. So it sounds on beat. So I don't know if this possible record is going to be as successful as the first one, but who knows? You know, he might have had records that they still, I think they put their best foot forward on this album. And personally, I don't mind a second album, but especially if 50's not getting involved, I don't know how the success of it's going to be. It's definitely not going to be as successful as the first one. I know that. Everybody knows that for a fact. But regardless, shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. Hopefully it wins a Grammy. Hopefully it wins a lot more awards because it's doing amazing. It's still doing numbers. So shout out to Pop Smoke, 50, his mother, all that rest in peace.